Thoughts on Fanatec going into administration? I mean, it's not surprising, is it? Like, the, the, the people that worked there absolutely deserve better, but Thomas Jackemeyer, from everything I know, a complete just wrong person for the job when COVID happened. Like, again, this is going to be another rant chat, but just, just enjoy it. So basically, obviously, COVID happened. All your professionals and racers were doing sim racing events, and all of them were using Fanatec gear. Great. Fanatec absolutely selling out everywhere, doing a world of good. You know, they're making bank, making so much money. They're selling out products, oh, excuse me, that they haven't even got. They're that in demand. People want that much Fanatec gear. So, of course, you've got all this profit, you know, because, you know, the markups on that kind of thing is quite high anyway. You know, you're probably spending 500 quid on something that costs 200 to make, I would assume, maybe even less than that, in terms of the whole, like, build process. So you think, right, we've had all this expansion, you know, we've got all these new partners and companies and eyes on our product. What do we do? We either invest the money and make more new cutting-edge products for our fans. What did the CEO of Fanatec do instead? Ooh, you know what I want? I want a Formula 1 car. So he bought, apparently, I think it was the first ever Toro Rosso, the str one which famously in its own right, fun fact, is the last ever V10 Formula 1 car. So I think he bought that and literally would take it to, like, track days and stuff and, like, show it off. They then sponsor, like, the GT3 World Series or whatever it's called and, like, rally events all around the globe and things like that in WRC. But obviously, in all of this time, there's no new Fanatec stuff for the average consumer to buy. So very quickly, you've obviously got less products. But they have a get-out-of-jail-free card, because the Black Friday sale's coming. So what do they do? They sell, I think in the end, now don't quote me on this, but I think it was something ridiculous, like three times more stock was sold during Black Friday before stuff went out of stock on their own website than they actually ever had. So obviously you'd click on something, you'd buy it at like 30% off, which is huge for Fanatec gear. And they'd be like, great, that order's registered, it'll be with you in a week. And then you would hear nothing for months. Like there's people still to this day waiting on their gear to arrive, waiting for confirmation, waiting for delivery. And they were like, oh yeah, no, we just don't have it. Or, oh yeah, it's a backlog in China. No, I was you were too busy spending money on everything else. Now, can't afford to pay the Chinese company that is building all this stuff. So, obviously, Moses now taking most of it and selling it for cheaper with some slight alterations. How stupid can you be?